Best Best TVs Are you looking for the best TVs? In this video we will look at some of the on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Samsung S90C OLED. Here's a rewritten version. The top TV we've tested is the Samsung S90C OLED. It delivers stunning picture quality and comes with a wide range of extra features. It excels in dark rooms due to its nearly infinite contrast ratio and flawless black uniformity, with no distracting blooming around bright areas. HDR content looks amazing thanks to its high peak brightness, wide color gamut, and vibrant, lifelike colors. However, the Samsung model doesn't support Dolby Vision HDR or advanced DTS audio formats, although it does offer support for Samsung's HDR10 Plus format. It comes in four sizes, 55, 65, 77, and 83 inches, with the 83-inch model using a Wolaid panel, resulting in slightly different performance from the smaller sizes. The built-in Tizen OS is user-friendly, offering a great selection of streaming apps and games. It's an excellent choice for console gamers, especially those using an Xbox Series X or PS5, as it supports 4K at 144Hz gaming on all four HDMI ports and variable refresh rate VRR, technology to reduce screen tearing. For those willing to spend more, the Samsung S95C OLED is a fantastic option as Samsung's 2023 flagship TV. It's brighter than the S90C, but the price difference may not be justified for most people. Another option is the Samsung S90D-S90DD OLED, which offers some improvements over the S90C, including better HDR gradient handling, smoother playback of low-quality content, and improved HDR brightness. However, these upgrades are minor, and the S90D is currently priced significantly higher than its predecessor. Unless you specifically want those small enhancements, the more affordable S90C, especially when on sale, is the better buy. It's also worth noting that Samsung's 2024 OLED lineup is somewhat confusing, as the S90D models feature either Wolaid or QD OLED panels depending on the region and size. More details can be found here. Number 2. Sony A95L OLED. Here's the revised version. If you're aiming for the best possible TV for a home theater setup and are less concerned about cost, consider the Sony A95L OLED. While it shares many similarities with the Samsung S90C OLED, the Sony model excels in a home theater environment due to its superior video format support. Unlike Samsung's HDR10 Plus format, the Sony TV supports the more widely used Dolby Vision HDR, providing an advanced HDR experience from almost any source. Sony's processing is also more accurate in following the content creator's intent, so HDR content appears with the correct brightness and color. Additionally, the Sony N95L offers better audio format support, including DTS-X pass-through via eARC, allowing you to streamline your connection to an audio-video receiver without compromising audio quality. Like the Samsung, it performs exceptionally well in dark rooms, with a nearly infinite contrast ratio that delivers perfect blacks and no distracting blooming around bright areas. The A95L is available in three sizes, 55, 65, and 77 inches. However, it comes with a hefty price tag. If you're drawn to Sony OLEDs for their processing power but want a more affordable option, the Sony A80L-A80CL OLED is a good alternative. Keep in mind, though, that it's a noticeable step down in brightness and color vibrancy. Number 3. Sony Bravia 9 QLED. If you need a TV for a brightly lit room, the Sony Bravia 9 QLED is an excellent choice. Its outstanding reflection handling and impressive SDR brightness ensure it effectively combats glare, making it the top option for bright environments in 2024. Despite its exceptional performance in well-lit settings, it also excels in dark rooms with its exceptional contrast in deep blacks, nearly on par with OLED displays, thanks to its effective local dimming control. The Bravia 9 is also ideal for 4K Blu-ray enthusiasts and high-quality streaming, supporting both Dolby Vision and DTS audio formats. The TV's image processing is excellent for upscaling and smoothing out lower-quality content, maintaining accuracy in both SDR and HDR to honor the creator's intent. However, its viewing angle is less impressive, so it's not the best choice for large groups watching from the sides of the screen. On the plus side, it pairs well with modern consoles, 
featuring HDMI 2.1 on two ports, 4K at 120Hz support, and VRR compatibility, making it a great match for the PS5 and Xbox Series X S. The Bravia 9 also boasts a quick response time, reducing blur in fast-moving scenes, and very low input lag for a responsive gaming experience. If the Bravia 9 is beyond your budget but you still want a Sony TV, consider last year's Sony X93L-X93CL. While its contrast and brightness are not as strong as the Bravia 9's, it still offers deep blacks and sufficient brightness to handle glare, along with Sony's renowned accuracy and image processing. Number 4. LG C3 OLED. If you're looking for a high-quality OLED TV without the hefty price tag of the Sony A95L, consider the LG C3 OLED. This upper mid-range TV offers excellent picture quality, particularly in dark rooms, with its near-infinite contrast ratio eliminating blooming around bright objects. While it can handle moderate lighting well and has impressive reflection management, its colors aren't as vivid as some other models. Nevertheless, the LG C3 compensates with its strong versatility, featuring excellent image processing, Dolby Vision HDR support with Dolby Vision Gaming at 120Hz, and the ability to pass through advanced DTS audio formats. Like Sony TVs, it supports Dolby Vision HDR, which is more commonly used than Samsung's HDR10+. The LG C3 is available in a wide range of sizes, from a compact 42 inches to an expansive 83 inches. It's a superb choice for gaming, with nearly instantaneous response times, low input lag, and robust gaming features. It supports HDMI 2.1 on all four inputs, enabling 4K at 120 frames per second gaming for the PS5 and Xbox Series X. It also includes native FreeSync, HDMI forum VRR support, and GSINC compatibility to minimize screen tearing. If you desire a more vibrant display, consider the more expensive LG G3 OLED. It's one of the brightest OLEDs available and offers better brightness than the C3, though the extra cost may not be justified for most users. The 2024 LG C4 OLED is also an option, offering up to 4K at 144Hz, improved HDR accuracy, and slightly higher HDR brightness. However, it's quite pricey upon release. Unless you specifically need 144Hz for PC gaming or the other minor enhancements, the more affordable C3 is a better value, especially when on sale. Number 5. LG B3 OLED. The LG B3 OLED is the best mid-range TV we've tested for those seeking a more affordable entry into the OLED market while still enjoying high-end features. Although it's dimmer than the more expensive LG C3 OLED and has only two HDMI 2.1 ports, the B3 delivers impressive picture quality, especially in dark rooms, with its near-infinite contrast ratio providing deep blacks and no distracting blooming. It features the same fast webOS platform and strong image processing, efficiently upscaling lower-resolution content from DVDs, cable boxes, or Blu-rays. The B3 also supports Dolby Vision HDR and advanced DTS audio formats, which are beneficial for physical media that often use DTS for audio tracks. Its viewing angle is excellent, allowing viewers to watch from anywhere in the room without a drop in quality. Like the C3, the B3 offers a wide color gamut and exceptional accuracy out of the box, ensuring movies appear as intended by the creators. It's also great for gaming, supporting all VRR technologies, with excellent response times and extremely low input lag. However, its two HDMI 2.1 ports support up to 4K at 120Hz, but one port doubles as the eARC port, limiting you to one high-speed port if you use a soundbar connected via eARC. The 2024 LG B4 OLED introduces several upgrades, including greater brightness in both SDR and HDR content, improved HDR gradient handling, and an increased number of HDMI 2.1 ports to 4. It also comes in a new 48-inch size. However, the B4 is quite expensive at the moment. If you don't need these upgrades or the new size, the B3 remains a better value, especially when on sale. For similar pricing to the B4, you might also consider the LG C3, which offers superior performance. Number 6. Hisense U7N. If the LG B3 OLED is too expensive or you're seeking a more budget-friendly LED TV than the Sony Bravia 9 QLED, the Hisense U7N is a great choice. While it's not as bright as the Bravia 9, it still offers impressive brightness and excellent reflection handling, making it effective at reducing glare in bright rooms. 
It also performs well in dark rooms, providing deep blacks, though some blooming around bright highlights may be noticeable against dark backgrounds. HDR content looks vibrant, with standout highlights and vivid colors thanks to the TV's strong HDR brightness and wide color gamut. It supports HDR10, HDR10+, and Dolby Vision, covering all major HDR formats. However, its narrow viewing angle makes it less ideal for watching with a large group. The U7N is packed with gaming features, including two HDMI 2.1 ports that support up to 4K at 144Hz, VR, and Auto Low Latency Mode, ALLM, making it a great match for modern consoles and high-end gaming PCs. Its very low input lag ensures a responsive gaming experience, and its excellent response time reduces motion blur. If you're looking to save some money and find it in stock, last year's Hisense U7K is a viable alternative. It's not as bright as the U7N and has slightly inferior contrast, but it's still sufficiently bright for most well-lit rooms and performs well in dark environments. Number 7. Hisense U6-U6N If the Hisense U7N is beyond your budget or you don't need advanced gaming features, the Hisense U6-U6N is the best budget TV we've tested. What sets it apart from other budget models is its highly effective local dimming which delivers excellent contrast and deep blacks in dark rooms. While it isn't as bright as the U7N, it still offers good SDR brightness and handles some glare in well-lit rooms. HDR brightness, however, isn't as strong, so highlights and HDR content might not stand out as much. Nevertheless, it supports a wide color gamut, making HDR colors vibrant and lifelike. Additionally, it offers support for HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision, and supports DTS audio formats, which is ideal for Blu-ray movie watchers. Its upscaling is comparable to the U7NS, but it struggles with smoothing low-quality content, resulting in visible artifacts in low-bitrate videos. Although the U6-U6N lacks HDMI 2.1 bandwidth and 4K at 120Hz support, it includes basic gaming features like Auto Low Latency Mode, ALLM, and supports up to 1440p at 120Hz for those who prefer higher frame rates over resolution. However, its VRR feature is limited to 60Hz, so it doesn't support 120 frames per second with VRR. The TV has an excellent response time, minimizing blur in fast motion, and offers a responsive gaming experience thanks to its very low input lag. If you're primarily looking to get the most out of your Xbox Series X, S, or PS5, you might need a different option. However, if you don't game often or are looking for a TV with good picture quality for general use, the Hisense U6-U6N is a solid choice. Number 8. Roku Select Series. While not the top TV on the market, the Roku Select Series is the best budget TV we've tested that offers good value for its price. It may not perform as well in dark rooms compared to the Hisense U6-U6N due to the absence of local dimming, but its contrast and black uniformity are sufficient for a decent dark room viewing experience. The TV doesn't get very bright in HDR, but it handles reflections reasonably well, making it suitable for moderately lit rooms. Its SDR brightness is solid, making it versatile for most SDR content, although it excels with high-quality 4K content despite somewhat underwhelming image processing. As one of Roku's first TVs, it features the Roku TV Smart Interface, which is fast and user-friendly, with a wide selection of streaming apps for easy access to your favorite shows and movies. The remote includes a built-in microphone for voice commands and a headphone jack for private listening, which is a standout feature in this price range. However, if you're a Costco member, consider the Hisense a 65K instead. It's available at a similar price but offers better overall performance.